you all right? First and foremost, I want to thank our team of lawyers. As we know, we are a team of nearly 50 lawyers, and we have been working very hard for the last 14 days, this being the final day. Secondly, we want to thank our clients, the petitioner number one, Raila Molo Dinga, petitioner number two, uh, Martha Karoa, and other eminent persons in this team, including senior counsel Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, for having their trust and confidence in this team of lawyers to prosecute their case uh, in petition number five, which has been consolidated with other petitions and uh, put their case before the Supreme Court. I want to say without a fear of contradiction that we do not agree with the decision of the uh, Supreme Court. Like Al Gore, I will say uh, we accept the decision, but we do not agree with it. And I am saying this as a seasoned practitioner that uh, courts sometimes make mistakes which are be, to be corrected over time. Courts make political decisions. As you know, in the United States of America, there has been a long-standing uh, case that has been held as universal truth of jurisprudence uh, uh, involving women's rights, Roe versus Wade. It took, it took them 50 years to overturn that case because of a Republican uh, Congress and uh, a Republican president and uh, a Supreme Court that was basically appointed by Republicans. And therefore, I want to say, yes, in accordance with the law, we've got to accept this decision, decision as the law of the land. But I think it is a very ideological decision. I think uh, there are a lot of uh, what was said in the judgment, and we'll have time when that ju judgment ca comes out to put, on, uh, put out a critique. But uh, all it means is that uh, in our jurisprudence, uh, the petitioners will always have a big burden to carry when you have an electoral commission, which is not open and transparent. The best way for this court to have made a decision was with the servers to be fully opened uh, and all the election materials be placed before the court as uh, would happen in a case where justice has to be rendered. As you know, and I am saying this again without fear or contradiction, we wanted uh, a comprehensive audit of uh, not only the technology that was uh, applied by the Electoral Commission, but we wanted a proper audit. Uh, although time was of the essence, but I think we had uh, sufficient time to carry, carry out a proper audit, including looking at the issue of the foreign intruders, the Venezuelans, which you would notice the court avoided uh, in many, making any comment about those intrusions and invasions of the system, the uh, technology, the IT structure. Uh, that, again, the court did not refer to, but probably in the judgment, the recent judgment that is coming on the 21st, uh, they will say something about it. And therefore, I want to end uh, by saying uh, the rule of law should prevail. Uh, the court normally has the last word in making a statement as to what is the law of the land. But as citizens who are sovereign, we are uh, uh, we are entitled to disagree, and disagree very vehemently. Uh, I think um, the court, in conducting the proceedings during the hearing, uh, I think they were patient, uh, they listened to us. It is only the outcome that we do not agree with. Finally, I think uh, our clients, the two petitioners, 
Raila Amol Odinga and uh, Martha Karoa may be addressing another press conference, but uh, we are happy to talk to you on, on this issue. Yeah, and, uh, and, have a water -tight case, but you saw them talking about forgeries and wild goose chase. No, I mean forgeries. Uh, when the DCI, the Director of Criminal Investigations, what do we put before the court? A lot of it was from uh, an agency of government. Uh, I didn't see them uh, talking about similar incidents in uh, matters concerning the Independent Electoral and, Bo uh, Electoral and Boundaries Commission. That's why I'm, I was saying it was a little ideological. They were looking for things on which uh, to destroy our case, uh, but similarly not taking sufficient time to look at what happened on the other side. And uh, uh, that will be another story for another day. Would you admit you might not have been well prepared for this case? We were very well prepared. What are the I, I, think, I think compared to 2017, we were a lot more well prepared. What would be the two or three uh, points of mistake that you say the court might have made a mistake on that? Fundamental. In 50% in plus one, I think they were ideological. Uh, we are using the baseline of uh, total registered voters uh, in the land as against the, those who turned out to vote. If you read any uh, legal material on what should be a turnout, uh, including the Black's Law Dictionary, turnout is normally based on the registered members in a country as against those who turn out to vote. So there are so many other examples we can take up. Are you still confident that 